Now we're going to take a look at dividing integers. So again, remember, integers are numbers like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And these could go on and on, up or down. So they're, they're all the, the whole numbers and all their opposites, positive and negative numbers without decimals or fractions. So we're going to look at dividing numbers and uh, dividing integers. So let's look at positive 12 divided by positive 4. So what I could do is I could take on my number line the, I'm going to draw a little arrow here. Let's do this in blue. And let's just draw one here from, oops, I thought I was doing that in blue. Let's see if we can change this. Hooray. Okay, so there's the number 12 represented on my number line. That arrow there would represent 12. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it um, into groups of four. So here if I start at zero, here's one of the fours. I'll just put a little arrow there. Or maybe I'll just do a dash line. So there's a four. Go another four would take me to eight go another 4 would take me to 12. So if I take the number 12 and I divide it into segments of 4, how many segments are there? 1, 2, 3. So 12 divided by 4 must equal 3 because when I take the arrow that's 12 units long and I divide it into uh, segments that are 4 units long, I would have three parts. One, two, three. So that's how we can show um, dividing integers on a number line. So let's look at this one here. I've got negative 10 divided by positive 2. Um, so let's get an arrow on here because I've got, I've got to have an arrow of minus 10. So let's go to minus 10. There we go. I sort of started at zero. Anyways, pretend that starts at zero there. I was off a little bit with, I, with my drawing. Um, so negative 10. There's an arrow that goes down to negative 10. I'm going to divide this by 2. So these are all negative numbers long here. So really all I can do is I can take my negative 10 arrow and I can divide it into two groups. So this would be group 1, and this would be group 2. So I've taken the negative 10 arrow, and when I divide it by 2, what do we have left? We have arrows that are both negative 5. So that means negative 10, when you divide it by 2, would give you an arrow of negative 5. So negative 10 divided by positive 2 is negative 5. Well, let's again, like we did with the multiplication one, let's look at all our different options. Let's use this as our example. So we could have positive 12 divided by positive 4. We could go positive 12 divided by negative 4. We could go negative 12 divided by positive 4. And we could go negative 12 divided by negative 4. So we saw in this one that positive 12 divided by positive 4 was positive 3. And positive 12 divided by 4, well, if you took an arrow that was positive 12 and you divided it by negative 4, we would have negative 3. If we had negative 12 divided by positive 4, we would have negative 3. And if we had negative 12 divided by negative 4, we would have positive 3. So the same sign rules that applied with dividing are also going to apply, sorry, the same sign rules that divide with multiplying are also going to apply with dividing. And so 12, div 12 divided by 4 is 3 in each one of these cases. If the signs are both positive, or the signs are both negative, our final answer will be positive. But if the signs are different, one's positive and one's negative, then our final answer will be negative. 
So just to summarize then again, how do we divide integers? Well, first of all, we're just going to ignore the signs and divide the two numbers. So for this example here, I'm going to ignore the signs, but 20 divided by 5 I know is 4. And then I'm going to determine if my answer is positive or negative. So if the signs are the same, my answer will be positive, and if the signs are different, my answer will be negative. So here I have a positive divided by negative. That means my final answer will be negative 4. And um, looking at these other examples, I got negative 8 divided by negative 4. So I'm going to go 8 divided by 4. I know that answer is 2. And a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So I could write the plus sign there, but I don't, I don't need to if my answer is positive. Here I got negative 25 divided by positive 1. So 25 divided by 1 is 25. And a negative divided by a positive is a negative. Remember, you must write the negative sign. Otherwise, your answer is assumed to be positive. And down here, I've got 35 divided by 7, which is 5. And a positive divided by a positive. The signs are the same, so my final answer will be positive. I'll just leave that as 5. Everybody will know that that's positive. So this is how we divide integers. Again, we would always simply use our shortcut methods here um, to actually do our dividing. But you'd want to be able to demonstrate that you understand what's happening by using um, a diagram such as the number line like we showed earlier in the video.